love going to the zoo with my family. I love the flamingos, I love the hippos, I love all the animals, except for the lion, obviously, because when I go to the lion cage and then like they start roaring, like all normal people, I go running back to my car. <laughs> Duh! You guys, you guys do that, right? A lot of people do that, right? They don't. Okay, really, I don't even like the zoo that much. But there's a pasuk in Mishlei that says, Arya Yishad Milo Yura, when a lion roars, who isn't afraid? So I love to challenge my students with that question every year before we start learning about Alola Rosh Hashanah. And I ask them, have you been to the zoo? And they say, yes. Um, have you been to the lions? Yes. You go running back to your car when they roar, right? No. So why is the pasuk in Mishlei, what, why are you scared of the lion? And they say, more say, no. The lion's in a cage. Right. I didn't think about that. Obviously the lion's in a cage. So the reason we're not scared of the lion is because it's in a cage. But we've learned that RA actually stands for El, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and Rosh Hashanah Rabbah. When these high holidays roar, who isn't afraid? And I think the answer is very similar. We're not afraid because we put them in a cage. What I mean by that is we somehow put Hashem in a figurative cage. So I'll be like, okay. I'm going to go over here and do what I do, Hashem. You go over there and you do whatever you do, and if I need you, I'll let you know, and I'll come find you in your little cage. We all sing that song, Hashem is here, Hashem is there, Hashem is truly everywhere, but only when you let him in. So this year, for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, and for the rest of the year, let's take Hashem out of the cage and bring him into our lives, because he really doesn't fight.